you were watching a clip from the Dead Ball TV podcast, make sure you subscribe, leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. How do French people feel, and you personally feel, about Americans becoming fans of your club? I think you I'm okay with that. I mean, no one is for Saint Etienne, so I'll be, I'll be for Saint Etienne. Okay, I'll be the one. I don't have a French team. Okay, you have I, to. I kind of like Rem. Is that how you pronounce uh, it? Reims or Ren? Ren. No, no, no. Rams. The Rams? first ones. Yeah, because yeah. they have Junior Ito. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Rams. And uh, Balogun. They had they had Balogun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was um, a beast last year. He he was a beast. Maybe we can talk about him uh, later, but like I've always been curious how Europeans view people of other countries particularly americans because we have such a terrible stigma yeah. around being soccer fans yeah uh, do y'all care do, do you see that and are you like flattered by it or are you like uh on, on that I point like i cannot talk for every french people because i don't know how they think majoritarily but for me i have the feeling that i'm really happy that americans get interested by football now mm. i mean it's it's really something everyone like it in the world and American just add other sports, but now it's becoming more and more popular here, and I really like that. I, I think it's good if if I see Americans from Saint Etienne, I will be very happy. I know that American. Wow, that'd be rare. <laughs> <laughs> what a sight! That would be super rare. No, I no that's what happened. But I know that the Marseille president is that invest is American. Frank McCourt invested in Marseille is pretty American. I think that American invested in Lyon too, John Texter, mm, the yeah, guy yeah. who owns Crystal Palace and everything. And so that made me little small by little by little, I don't know what you say little by little yeah, starting little by to little starting to get in terrace, but it will take time, obviously. Interesting. Yeah, with the National Football League or the NBA, I feel like because it's like undoubtedly, especially for I mean American football it's the only league to watch really yeah that Americans we don't at least myself personally I don't really uh, care or I, I don't have any negative feelings if a European is like I'm a Cleveland Browns fan I'm like oh mm. dude sick like yeah. you know I am too um, but I know that at least in the Premier League there's like this bit of an awkward disconnect where it's like as the sport becomes more popular in America I see almost an awkward, resp uncertain response from English yeah. fans where they're like, okay, this is good because my club is getting more popular, which means it has more buying power because it has more money. Yeah. The, all the team, every team does a preseason tour in the United States now yeah, yeah. to make millions of dollars. But at the same time, it's like every time something comes to America, the stigma is it is being commodified do you, un yeah. do you understand yeah, like yeah, it's, understand it's being it's being done for money mm -hmm. it's not being done for the love of the game I, I have this feeling that so it's not for you obviously because you're interested in all the championship in the world but a lot of Americans they just like Premier League yeah and they don't know a lot about football like a lot of friends I met there they say they love football uh, but they just know Premier League they don't know Italian football they don't know Spanish football and they just know th this one because it's not there for it's because the uh, money the tv uh, they just tr see they can see only this league and so premier league is really famous but i get that english fan imagine you're for a team always been for this team and suddenly a lot of people are becoming from this and kind of appropriate themselves your team i don't know it's uh, you're like i was there first i i was fan yeah. of it first i can understand they are like jealous i don't know how to protective maybe, yeah, protective yeah i can understand that I'm, I'm saying that i would be happy if american people starting to follow saint etienne because no one will in america even in france we are in the second league now so only the real ogs are staying there yeah oh, still the, the stadium is almost full all the time so it's crazy but it's because we are historical yeah club. that is the one negative thing that i see is that Americans, because we're very new to the sport, we we tend to go for the best teams. Yeah. So we become Real Madrid, Barcelona fans. Yeah. In La Liga, that is it, bro. I yeah. mean, I don't know. I mean, I know I got Bilbao, on my, and I respect Bilbao a lot, but I'm an Atleti fan. That's my team. Yeah. I've met, I think, one other American in my life who supported Atletico Madrid. It's just not very common. 
and in, Atletico is a big club and, it, and yeah, it's, it's yeah. the third biggest club yeah, yeah, objectively it's the yeah. third biggest club no one else picks it yeah um, in France dude I see PSG a lot because to me PSG is a fashion brand yeah okay, like I would it. I would buy a PSG jersey to wear to a party yeah, not yeah. because I support PSG but because their jerseys look so cool yeah, yeah. but you know I don't see a, um, a Marseille I never see that and that's a huge club in France yeah I never it's see the Leon. most famous yeah I, I don't see these I, I've never in my life See, yeah. at least not in Houston. I like I've never seen a jersey, maybe in a New York or somewhere with a bigger French population. Yeah, yeah. Get back, no maybe in Canada, maybe no sure. One knows them. And in the Prem, everybody is Man U, Man City. Now is yeah. very popular in the United States because they keep winning and of they course. keep buying all the best players. And so, maybe I'm tripping, but I see that and I get concerned. Because I'm like, okay, we're a big ass country. We got 400 million people here. Yeah. If 400 million people start supporting five different clubs, <laughs> those clubs are going to become even more wealthy. Yeah. And the gap between a Arsenal and a Man U and a Crystal Palace or a Brentford is just going to grow and grow and grow. Yeah, but could it kill competition? In another way, it's not very your fault. I mean, they're just winning because they have money mm -hmm. and the guy who invests money are from Saudi Arabia or whatever. So, I mean, for example, Newcastle, no one was supporting Newcastle. You will see next year they will be in Champions League. The year after they will be even richer and richer because Saudi Arabia <laughs> will invest and you will see more and more Newcastle shirts everywhere because they will find, finish by attract mm -hmm. some big player, someone that is very famous. And I mean, you will see a more, more and more and more American fans of Newcastle mm -hmm. that you never see before. You will mm -hmm. see the Newcastle shirts yeah. in the, in the f football speech you, when you go to play. And that's how it works. And I, I don't like this mentality. I have a team because when I was a kid, my father bring me to the stadium five years old. Mm -hmm. No choice. It's my team. It, it will be your team. No choice. And I'm happy with that. Because I've been to the, the stadium and I was like, the atmosphere, especially in Saint Etienne. Okay, I was lucky with Saint Etienne. The atmosphere in the stadium is crazy. Like, it's nothing to look with. For example, the atmosphere in England is so boring. Except that you'll never walk alone at the beginning in Liverpool. No, it's no atmosphere. No one is like singing, no one is putting. Uh, I don't know you call that the, the, the smokes everything oh yeah like smoke bomb yeah. flares yeah yeah if you go oh you've been to Greece Olympiacos are crazy <sighs> okay crazy. that's another extreme dude I saw Olympiacos Besiktas yeah. so a Turkish yeah, club yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo that was yeah it, they tied 1-1 but that was crazy okay that so was... here the atmosphere is something else but in France it's not as crazy as there it's very i think it's better i never been to uh, watch olympiacos we'll but go I together see, yeah we'll go to athens i would love it yeah we'll go i never been to greece actually are you serious no oh <laughs> my god yeah well, we ne okay next trip i'm gonna fly to france we'll chill in france for a week and then we'll go to athens no for a week. problem but yeah, i have to bring you to my oh yeah, Saint -Etienne yeah, yeah stadium we call that the chaudron so that means like it's you know the thing where you cook food uh, you put water to boil in a uh, like a pot yeah a pot or like more like a casserole yeah a casserole oh, okay. yeah. yeah and you put water boiling in that so it's kind of oh, what we okay. call the stadium because the atmosphere is crazy that's actually really cool yeah and so that's how it is called but it's very famous everywhere in France it's like the best atmosphere in France my club with also Marseille and kind of Lens but okay so my father bring me there so I didn't have choice I saw the atmosphere I was like amazed so I chose this club and that's how it works in France you are you just you have a club and you follow it and it's even more like this in england but here the problem is they, as you said they just follow someone they are winning okay I will dude i have friends that have switched favorite teams like five times that's we call we have a word in france for that we call that footix that footix footix just foot like football and you put ix at the end Footics. that means people who don't know shit at football <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude yeah they are just for me they are nothing of a football fan mm -hmm. they can say whatever they can follow it bro if you just switch all the time you just it's like with friendship you're not loyal if you change that means in real life you will change too mm -hmm. that means you will f probably fuck my girlfriend you see what <laughs> yeah, I yeah no it's true that's the someone snake. who doesn't have value we call them snakes exactly in English. exactly um, it's a snake don't have a world. Yeah, it's, and it the craziest thing is when I ask them why, they'll be like, "Oh, well, we sold this player." 
or like, oh, we didn't qualify for the Champions League. I'm like, so? Like, you're just going to leave the second that you don't win a trophy? Like, That's... bro, I'm a fucking Tottenham fan, dude. Oh. We don't win shit. Yeah, never. <laughs> I don't jump ship. We haven't won since 2007 or 2008. Yeah. But I don't care. Like, yeah. I got introduced to the team through my, my godfather, who's mm. Russian. Yeah. Because Pavlyuchenko played for Tottenham back in the day yeah and that was like my introduction like to football because i'm a basketball family yeah. we, we like the cleveland cavaliers that is like my family's team so yeah. i could never switch up yeah from cleveland i see yeah. i've lived in houston my whole life i've never rooted for the houston rockets yeah, okay. ever always cleveland yeah. every time the Cavs come to houston we go to the stadium in cavaliers jerseys and we root for cleveland okay. every time okay. non-negotiable that's crazy so I, that's my scent at the end is pretty much yeah, the yeah, yeah. Um Although we did win the championship in 2016, made the playoffs this year. We're a little bit better than the scent at the end, yeah. relatively, but um, yeah. it's, it's one of the downsides to American fandom, I think. It's because we don't live in Europe. Yeah. So we don't, some of us might not even know French people. No, the thing is now you have to develop your football because it's difficult to support a team if you're not feeling it. I yeah. mean, it's not in the culture here. In France, every time you woke up, you will open your phone, you will have football everywhere. If, every time you go in a, a bar, a, a, a pub, whatever, you will see football. Not a lot of sport, not a lot of screens. Two screens, football, football. Mm -hmm. Every time you will just open a newspaper, football. And people just think football about everything. So it's kind of really more important in our culture. It's the most important sport here. Here it's it's shared between basketball, American football, baseball. Here baseball is really important. Mm. I mean, you have a lot of different sports. In France, it's really football more. Rugby a bit too. Is rugby number two? Yeah, I think. I'm pro basketball number three? Probably, yeah. Handball you, do you watch the French national basketball team? In the Olympics, maybe. Nicolas Batum? Yeah, Batum, yeah. I mean, I follow in the Olympics or the Tony World Parker? Championship. Yeah, he's from Lyon. <laughs> Is he from Lyon? Yeah. I didn't know that. He, he was part of the Lyon football project after, like two years ago. What's um, what's my guy's name? Frank Nitekalina? He point guard, point guard. I don't think he ever actually ended up being good. Boris Dio? Yeah, Boris Dio, yeah. yeah I'm so. happy for Wen Benyama now in, yeah, Wen in San Antonio. I'm happy that he was big because it's a good thing to put light on French basketball. I don't like basketball a lot. I, I mean, I always play football, yeah. always follow football. Tennis is important too. My friend Nico, he played tennis, but who are bad in tennis and uh, si uh, bicycle. Uh, yeah, but, yep. Tour uh, de France. Yeah, Tour de France. This yeah. is really, in, it's happening right now in France and that's something very big. Everyone is following. But except that, it's really football beyond of everything. Is the French rugby team as diverse as the French football team? It's starting to be more. Okay. It was a very wide spot before, and now it's more diverse. But it's still a very wide spot. Do you watch when the rugby yeah, team yeah. plays, like Six Nations? or? Yeah, I, I really love it. The atmosphere of rugby is crazy. It's like you party, you drink, and you're with all the guys. Not a lot of girls. Yeah, it's very masculine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. And that, that's very funny. Like, you go to the, the bar to do that, or with friends in a, in a house, and it's very cool. 